Welcome to today's algebra tutorial on adding polynomial functions. If we're given the two equations f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 4 and g of x equals minus x squared minus 3x plus 5 and we are asked, we're given those two equations, and then we're asked to solve f plus g of x. If your professor wants you to solve that problem, all they're asking you to do is to take this first equation, f of x, and you're going to add it to the second equation, g of x. And so we're going to do that just like we did when we we're adding polynomials. We're going to take this first function. So our f of x, that's 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 4. We're going to take that and we're going to add it to the g of x. Now you notice our g of x doesn't have an x cubed, so that's going to just be a zero coefficient, so that we're lining everything up. A negative is the same as a minus 1. Minus 3x plus 5, and I can put a 1 in front of that negative so that I have all of my coefficients. And now it's just like what we did when we were adding polynomials. Now we're going to just add. So that's going to be 4 plus 5 is 9. Minus 1 plus minus 3 is a minus 4. Minus 2 plus a minus 1 is a minus 3. And 3 plus 0 is 3. So this would be my final answer for f plus g of x. Now, if they gave you the same two problems, f of x and g of x, but this time they gave you the problem f plus g of 2. All that means is that anywhere that you have an x, they want you to plug in the number 2. And that's the same as saying f of 2 plus our g of 2. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my original equations that they gave us, but this time everywhere that I see an x, I'm going to plug in the number 2. So I'm going to rewrite my f of x. So that is going to be 3 times 2, and that's going to be cubed minus 2. And that's going to be squared minus 2 plus 4. So you can see I'm taking this original equation, and then everywhere that there's an x, I've replaced that with the number 2. So let's go ahead and solve that out. 2 cubed is 8 times 3 is 24 minus 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is an 8, minus 2 plus 4, and then we're going to go ahead and just calculate that. So if I take 24 minus 8 plus, minus 2 plus 4, that's going to give me f of 2 equals 18. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to do that with the g of x. And I'm going to plug in a 2 
everywhere that I have an X. So that's going to be a minus two squared minus three times two plus five. So that is going to equal two squared, which is four minus minus three times two, which is six plus five, which is going to equal a negative five. So g of two equals negative five. So now when I go to take my f of g, f plus g of two, that is going to be f of two, which was 18, plus my g of two, which was a minus five, and that is going to give me 13. So f plus g of two is gonna be 13, which would be my final answer. Now the other way that you can solve that if they give you f of two is to add your f plus g of x, add them together, and then when you're right here at this step, so you could go here, you could add those variables together and then plug in that too after you have solved them. That's the other way to do that. So what we're gonna do is everywhere that we have an X in that final answer, We're going to add a 2, where we're going to replace that with 2, and we should end up with the same answer. So that's 2 cubed is 8 times 3 is 24, minus 2 times 2 squared, 4 times 3 is 12, minus 4 times 2 is 8 plus nine. So that gives me 24 minus 12 minus eight plus nine, and that also equals 13. So that gives you two different ways to solve it if they give you a number. So just to review, if they give you f plus g of x, that just means to take the f of x, your first function, plus the second function. So that's all that's telling you is to take these two functions and add them together. If they have a coefficient, instead of an x, if there's a number, then all that's telling you to do is you're gonna do the exact same thing, except for anywhere that you have the variable x, you're gonna replace it with the number two and then add it together until you get a single solution. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to get the latest videos by CAS Academy. And be sure to check out the links in the description for additional supports and resources.